Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and today we're flying with the angels, but not like multiple angels. We're flying with an angel today. We're tasting and talking about Angel's Envy, single barrel, private selection. <gasps> America. Every once in a while, you just do bad. And whoopsie doopsie. Angel's Envy Distillery is in Louisville, Kentucky, mostly known for their beautiful bottles and port finished bourbon. Angel's Envy Bourbon, from what I understand, is about six years old and then finished in ruby port barrels. The traditional offering is watered down to like 86 proof or 86.6 if you're in the market of being extra specific. But the private selection single barrels are not 86 proof. Mm -mm. Higher than that. This bad boy from Justin's House of Bourbon, 110. 110 proof. Now, if I told you anything but I am not a fan of the original Angel's Envy, you could slap me in the face and call me a big fat liar. And you would not be in the wrong because I do not like regular Angel's Envy. But the single barrel higher proof version, is that different? Does a cool sticker, extra proof, and dangly angel wings make a difference? Only one way to find out. I don't know exactly how many barrels Angel's Envy is pumping out for their single barrel program, but this is the first one that I've had the opportunity to pick up. A little nosy poo. Ooh. Oh, magic, magic Mike, magic Matt, sweet nougat, sweet cherry fluffy nougat, like a twin bing candy bar, kind of like a twin bing with the cherry inside and chocolate. Yeah, oh yeah, it's like a chocolate cherry fluff. Super sweet, I like that. I like that a lot. Cheese pie, cherry pie, cool drink of wine, such a sweet surprise. Sweet cherry pie. Little bit of almond. Yes. Little almond. It's like one of the Charleston Chew Bars with the red inside. If the Charleston Chew Bar was actually chewable and not hard like concrete. <laughs> so far on the nose, I am a fan. I am a big fan both metaphorically and literally, cause huge. I would say this, even if the bourbon inside the bottle does not taste good, this is something you could just pour in a glass and smell its ass. Oh. Oh. It kind of smells like the inside of one of those magazines that has like the perfume samples and cologne samples a little bit. If you flip through the magazine and smell it, like I said before, when it comes to Angel's Envy, not a big fan of the 86 proof small batch. In the case of the single barrel, the only way to determine the likability is to pour it down the hatch. Diddly doo. Wow. Mm, wow. Wow. That is It, it buzzed the taste buds like a B-2 stealth bomber at 600 feet. <laughs> and what did it leave in its wake? Chocolate cake. It's like a triple chocolate cake. It's like the chocolate with the chocolate with the chocolate chips. Or maybe like a German chocolate cake because there is a little bit of cherry in there a little bit. A little bit of cherry residue. And also the almond kind of comes through as well little bit of almond action. The nose and the palate are connecting like your mother and your new stepfather on Tinder app. This is coating the mouth rather well, coating the mouth rather well. A nice finish. It's enchanting. It's super sweet, super lovely and enjoyable. This is really good. This is really good. The bourbon and the port finish at this proof is like a match made in heaven where the angels live. Nice and viscous and oily. Truth be told, I didn't know what to expect from the Angel's Envy single barrel, but 
overly impressed. Every time I taste it and then go back to the nose, my pleasure for it grows because it is just delightful. I'm gonna go ahead and score this single barrel Angel's Envy, but remember, this score is for this particular barrel. I can't guarantee that all the barrels out there are just as good. But what I do know is the one that I have tried, this one, super good. And I would say I would buy one again if I saw one just sitting around on a random shelf at a random store being sold by a guy named Ralph. I would pick it up. I would pick it up. Today, Angel's Envy, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, finished in port wine barrels, private selection single barrel, 110 proof, from Justin's House of Bourbon, receives a score from me tonight of... It's great. Dang it, it's an 8.3, 8.3 Angel's Envy single barrel private selection. Now keep in mind it is a single barrel, so whatever single barrel you pick up is going to be different. It's going to be different. Will they vary wildly? I do not know. I do not know. And if in the future I run across any other bottles of the single barrel Angel's Envy that do me wrong, I will make sure to make a video and shun it and change my score. Dang, that's good. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So sneaking good. I'm wondering myself if I could even guess that it was finished by tasting it blind. I'm not quite sure if I could or not. Possibly I am the world's top whiskey taster. But that's gonna do it for this quick little review of Angel's Envy Single Barrel. That's gonna do it for me tonight. I love you. If you made it this far, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Do it. Do it. Freaking do it. If you don't do it, then you will suffer from bad body odor the rest of your life. And I don't mean to put that on you, but sometimes I just have to go ahead and force you to do something. And you don't want to be stinky poo magoo. So hit the subscribe button. Thank you. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on trying something new trying something new, like a single barrel or two, or like eating healthy, like celery and spinach and cucumbers and carrots and salad and ew. Maybe, maybe just, maybe don't go that drastic. Maybe you start something easy, like half a pizza instead of the whole pizza. Then you can finish it later for dinner. You know what I mean? Leftovers, right? Don't want to waste. Wasting is bad. What else could you try that's new? I don't know. Maybe like a new shampoo? Maybe go a little crazy, try a new shampoo? Maybe a little bit of Pert Plus? A little bit of head and shoulders? Because it tingles the scalp? Maybe I'll try something new and shut up for a little bit. Probably not. Maybe I'll try something new for a snack tonight. Like a spicy Chick-fil-A sandwich wrapped inside like three Taco Bell chicken quesadillas. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it.